The following contest is a six-man tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, weighing 227 pounds, Chris Jericho. So many personal issues here tonight, especially with this man, Chris Jericho. Well, let me tell you, Cole, it takes a king to know a king. And Chris Jericho is now called the king of the world. And that's one king that wants to put a stop to the showstopper in this match tonight. From Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing 234 pounds, Nature Boy, Rick Flair. It's Nature, one of the greatest of all time, a 16-time world champion. Wait a minute, Cole. Only his close personal friends like me and Triple H can call him Nature. You have to call him Nature Boy, Rick Flair. Connecticut, weighing 272 pounds, the World Heavyweight Champion, Triple H. When you're the World Heavyweight Champion, you're the very best. This man has made a career of proving people wrong. And Triple H said it earlier, he's going after Kevin Nash here tonight. Make no bones about it. Oh, and what a confrontation that could prove to be. But I don't know, even if I were Triple H, I might not be too anxious to go after the likes of Kevin Nash. Introducing from Houston, Texas, weighing 256 pounds, Booker T. Well, Booker T came within an eyelash of coming to backlash as a World Heavyweight Champion, nearly defeating the game last Monday night on Raw. What kind of a mood is Booker T in here tonight? Well, you talked about an eyelash. All you gotta do is look at Booker T's eyes. That'll tell you what kind of mood he's in.
from San Antonio, Texas, weighing 225 pounds, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels, quite possibly in the best shape of his career, the showstopper. Well, you call him the showstopper. Some people call him the spotlight stealer. And right now, he's in the spotlight, that's for sure. From Detroit, Michigan, weighing 305 pounds, Kevin Nash! Gang, Kevin Nash has not been in the ring in a match in a long time. But tonight, Kevin Nash looks focused, looks ready, and he's got his eyes dead set on his former best friend, but now nemesis, Triple H. Well, you're right about that, Cole. Kevin Nash looks as good as he's ever been. Think about the dichotomy of this match, King. On one side, there you see Booker T, but Shawn Michaels and Kevin Nash. And the relationship they've had with that man, Triple H, over the years, and it's come down to this here tonight. Yeah, Kevin Nash has come back, and he wants to get his hands on Triple H, but look at this. Triple H wants not a big sexy, does he? Jericho in, and here comes Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels. Uh, with a little uh, mocking of the Nature Boy, Ric Flair, there before this match gets underway. Here they go. It's going to be a good one. King, when you talk about all six of these men, all of them have at one point in their career been at the very top. Oh, without a doubt. And probably the longest man at the top is Nate, Ric Flair. World Heavyweight Champion for years and years and years. And Triple H, World Heavyweight Champion now. He's been at the top of his game for years, too. But you're right about another thing, Cole. Every one of these guys is a true superstar in every sense of the word. All six of these men used to being in the spotlight, used to being in the middle of it all. King, I've got to ask you, even though Kevin Nash and HBK are competing as teammates tonight, we heard Triple H tell Kevin Nash a couple of weeks ago that HBK eventually would turn on him. Do you think that could happen here tonight? Well, I don't know. I mean, you never know. You never know what guys like HBK and Kevin Nash are thinking. Sure, they're friends now, but friends in their book means they'll stab you in the front instead of stabbing you in the back. Booker T with a slick reversal. He's putting those educated feet to good use. make Kevin Nash with a quick kick out. So much on the line in this one. And like they say, on any given night, anything can happen in the WWE. He saw that one coming. King, we've talked about being a team and not competing as individuals, but with so many egos in this match and so many guys wanting to go after one other guy, is that even possible? Who knows? I mean, Cole, you have to look at these six individuals and tell me. Who do you think has the biggest ego? To answer your question, it's hard to say who has the biggest ego among these six superstars, but if I had to pick, I'd pick Triple H, the game. He's the best there is, and he will be the first one to tell you that. Wait a minute, Triple H? Really? Come on, it has to be Shawn Michaels. I mean, his ego applied for statehood one time. <laughs> or what about Kevin Nash? His ego has its own zip code. 
Big Daddy Cool. Let's see what he's got. As you said before the match, he hadn't been in the ring competing in a long, long time. Well, that's true, but Kevin Nash still looks to be in prime condition, King. Certainly one thing we know hasn't changed is that Big Daddy Cool still has that strength. What an impact from that kick. So important that every member of both teams is on the same page right now. I mean, you have to work as a team, as a well-oiled machine, because the team that will be successful is the team that's the most unified. Yes, King, that's what tonight is all about. It's not about being individuals. It's about being a team. It's about being a good teammate, doing whatever is necessary to help your teammates. Sounds like you're okay with cheating. So cheating is okay then, huh? I mean, as long as it's good for the team? It depends, King. Sometimes it's not called cheating. It's called being a good teammate. question with Kevin Ash coming in tonight was, having only come back a few weeks ago, would ring rust be an issue for him? Well, I don't know about that, Cole. That may be just the case because Big Daddy Cool is not very cool right now. But well, Kevin Ash, over seven feet, over 300 pounds, so big, so strong, has the strength to turn any situation around. King with six men in and around the ring at all times, trouble could come from any direction. Needless to say, the referee has a lot on his hands tonight. Wow, that's putting it mildly, Cole. This would have been a good match to have two or even three referees. He's got him up. You look at Kevin Nash and that size of his, and you know what they say. The bigger they are, the harder they fall, right? No. Usually when it comes to Kevin Nash, it's the bigger they are, the harder. That's it. He's done. His body has to be broken right now. Another shot with the boot. Uh oh, trying to put him away. What a move! His partner's being this could do it. Two. Triple H, he's always thinking, he's always got an equalizer. I mean, he's always got back. Triple H again proving why he's the cerebral assassin king. Why he's the world heavyweight champion. Doing whatever it takes to stay on top. Doing whatever it takes to remain the very best. And if Kevin Nash wasn't angry before, he's angry now. title defense, Triple H was steadily building his legacy as one of the greatest world heavyweight champions in WWE history. The following night on Raw, the game looked to take the night off. However, Stone Cold Steve Austin had other plans. You can pick your own opponent tonight as long as that opponent is a former world champion. I'll wrestle the greatest former world heavyweight champion of all time, Ric Flair. I'm overwhelmed. I mean, this is the greatest thing that's ever happened in my entire life. The best versus the best, just like we talked about. I chose you to stick it up Austin's ass. I chose you not because you're Ric Flair. I chose you because you're Ric Flair. You'll lay down. Lay down. With Ric Flair's integrity at stake, Shawn Michaels paid Flair a visit to remind him who he was and give the dirtiest player in the game his confidence back. Do you really think I can go out there and beat a guy like Triple H right now? I know you can do it. Where's Flair getting this from? After what I saw you do to the Triple H. Look at these shots by Flair. I am here to tell you that you, Ric Flair, were, are, and will always be the greatest wrestler in the world. And I just want to know if I'm in the same league with Ric Flair. You, Michael, will always be a Ric Flair wannabe. He just stuck him on John Michael. I am not the little boy watching my idol. I am a heartbreak kid, the showstopper. You didn't pass the torch 
to me. I took it from you. Ric Flair, Shawn Michaels, and Bad Blood. The dream match, perhaps of all time. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 234 pounds, the Nature Boy, Rip Flair. People ask, who do you think is the greatest champion of all time? To me, it's a toss up. It's either Rick Flair or Shawn Michaels. Flair dominated the 80s as no one has ever dominated a decade. Shawn Michaels dominated the 90s. It took what Flair had done to another level. Well, there have been a lot of guys who wanted to be like Ric Flair. We can think back to the last 20 years and some of the greatest five-star matches and match of the year candidates. And one common denominator is that they usually had either Ric Flair or Shawn Michaels in them. And that's why this match is almost guaranteed to be special. I love it. The Texas crowd does too, King. The cheers for HBK already starting up from his home state fans. But you can hear that Flair has his cult following too, as always. Ooh. Ric Flair going for it. Neither individual is going to back down here. He hits the drop kick from an incredible vertical leap. And he reversed it. Good move there. You know, Ric Flair would love to get Shawn Michaels into the corner as often as he can tonight. Trying to take away Shawn's speed advantage as much as possible. But even if Ric Flair is giving up an edge in quickness, the Nature Boy is still one of the most proficient athletes I've ever seen. the elbow. Nice reversal there. Sean way too experienced to get caught by a sloppy move like that. Ric Flair is not someone to sleep on. And he gets back in the ring. What a reversal. Well, this isn't the first time these men have been in the ring together, but it is the first time Ric Flair and Shawn Michaels have squared off one-on-one. -on -one. And it's been building to this, King. Shawn Michaels and the Nature Boy were on opposite sides of a six-man tag team match at Backlash just a few months ago. And since then, 
things have gotten very ugly between them. Well, maybe things have gotten ugly between Ric Flair and Shawn Michaels since Backlash, but it was only the Nature Boy doing what he needed to do. You mean sucker punching Shawn on Raw two weeks ago? Yeah. Maybe it was something Ric Flair needed to do, but I'm not sure it was something he should have done. Oh, Ric Flair, the dirtiest player in the game, and Ric Flair nails it! Shawn Michaels might be as athletic a superstar as we have in WWE today. And that's always the one thing to watch out for in a Shawn Michaels match. With his athleticism, HBK has the ability to dictate the pace of a match, like a fast-break basketball team. Well, that's if he gets going, Cole. Ric Flair is doing everything he can to prevent Shawn Michaels from getting any kind of momentum in this match. Woo! Oh, I bet we see Nature Boy reach even deeper into his bag of tricks tonight than he usually does. Well, that didn't work. And there's the reversal. Oh, a quick reversal by Ric Flair. He gets out of trouble there. Oh, Cole, look at that. Now that's how you hurt him. It was just a little over two years ago that we saw one of the greatest events in WWE history. That's it! He's out! Uh-oh, look at this! Oh! Trying to put him away! The one thing Ric Flair wants to do here tonight is negate the speed and quickness advantage that Shawn Michaels has over him, and it looks like he may be doing it. Well, even if Shawn Michaels is quicker and faster than the Nature Boy, he'll never have the arsenal of moves that Nate has. Maybe he doesn't need that arsenal, King, as agile and athletic as Shawn Michaels is. I just don't think that Shawn Michaels can handle the Nature Boy. But you know what? There's no shame at all in losing to Ric Flair. No shame at all. Lots of guys have done it. But HBK is still fighting. And this Texas crowd is trying to will Shawn Michaels back into this thing. Well, good luck. Because this is Texas. Oh, what's Flair going for here? But wait, a reversal by Shawn Michaels. And ooh, Flair hit that corner hard. He's dazed. Yeah, really dazed. Here comes HBK. Oh, Flair in the corner now. Shawn Michaels has him, but wait a minute. Referee, oh, look, oh, look at that. that. Blake, low blow. And I think, I think Ric Flair got both HBK and the referee. What are you going to do now, Nature Boy? Woo! Look at this. He's just barely moving. I'm not sure he can get back to his feet. Oh, look at this. Ric Flair with a figure four, but no! Shoved right into the official. And now Shawn Michaels is ready to go. Oh. And he's tuning up the band for some sweet chin music on Nate. Look out, Nature Boy. And he connects. What the man. heck? Randy Orton with a steel chair to the back of Shawn Michaels. And look at this. He's putting Nature Boy on top of HBK. The youngest member of Evolution. Are you kidding? Helping the referee. His, his buddy Flair. And there's the three count. I can't believe this, Cole! No, I can't. That's the way these guys operate. The Nature Boy, Ric Flair, is, he's almost unconscious. There's no way he could have won this match over Shawn Michaels without the help of Randy Orton. Ric Flair can barely stand, but... Shawn Michaels is out. Orton paying dividends. What you see in this ring is the greatest example of evolution. As the members of Triple H's new faction, Evolution, continued to grow, so did the problems for the Heartbreak Kid. Shawn Michaels is the next legend that I'm going to kill.
It's legend versus the legend killer. Michael's going to Oh, he's caught. Sweet chin music. Oh, but it was blocked into the RKO. And Orton wins it. The legend killer prevails. Later that same night, Triple H's long title reign came to an end. In the weeks to come, the game would enlist an animal in an effort to reclaim his throne. And Batista, the hell? Batista solving Shawn Michaels! HBK's problems only became worse with the addition of the newest member of Evolution. At the 2003 Survivor Series, the animal would unleash his rage. We're down to Shawn Michaels and Randy Orton! Wait a minute! That animal! Batista! No! Look, Sean, I powerbombed your ass straight to hell! Hey, just come on down, you jacked up Nimrod! Batista and Michaels will go one-on-one -on -one at Armageddon! Dave Batista, six foot five, 325 pounds! In 30 years that I've been around this business, I don't think I've ever seen a better big match wrestler than Sean Michaels. Oh, oh.